Hello guys, it's Pesh Show. I'm back uh, for more tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will show you guys how you guys can uh, use a v VLC, the full software on your desktop PC or on your laptop, and also using the VLC remote on your smartphone or smart devices. Uh, basically, I will show you guys how you guys can play like a music or a music video or actual film uh, remotely using your phone and connecting it to the computer for example if you're sitting on a sofa or sitting on your bed far away from the computer and you want to play a movie on the you already downloaded or you already got on the computer and then you just want to play it remotely i will show you guys how you guys to do that first thing what you guys need to do is that uh, uh go on the i mean go to the vlc website i'll put the link to the description it'll be easy for you guys you just click here and then go it takes you there straight away uh, once you open the link and you're on the VLC website, what you need to do is uh, click down the, automatically. The if you're already opening it on the Windows uh, on your uh, desktop uh, desktop computer and that's the Windows automatically. The first one should be uh, Windows one anyway. But just in case if your platform is different, just click the drop down menu and these are the different versions and then select the one that suits for you and you, your need and just download. And once you've downloaded it and uh, open the application so you need to open VLC on your uh, computer uh, as you can see on the right side in my screen that one that's my uh, my computer you need to go to tools and uh, just click the option down here and then cl select all so you have all the options here and then the next way you need to search for is main interfaces click that and then on the right side here the, that's the only thing for this tutorial you need to take which is the web one because you will be using uh, uh, through the internet you'll be connecting to it on your uh, wirelessly on the network and then just drop down the same thing on there and then click the first thing and here you will need a password because you will need this password later on through the through the uh, smartphone because you were using the VLC app to connect to it and just make sure that you remember this password because if you forgot then you won't be able to connect to it and in case if you forgot what password that is you can always delete it and put that back on there again and that's uh, basically easy and once you've done that click save and then go back and that's the this is the second part the third part what you need to do is that uh, without this it won't work because then on the on the application it will say that something is stopping through the connection like the firewall that has been disabled you need to enable it so what you guys need to do is that after this you guys need to do control panel and then search for firewall you guys can manually search, just click the options and go there or you guys just search on here firewall and then that will come up you guys need to click the check file status and here the first option here you need to click allow app feature through windows defender firewall and then you guys might have a lot in the list or you guys might have a few in the list so that doesn't really matter because the only thing you guys need to look for is VLC media player so once you find a VLC media player I think I just passed it, no I haven't here you guys need to just tick them both uh, as you can see they all been ticked and once they all been ticked and ready click OK and cancel and that's done now You've show you, you've downloaded the software. The software you put the password on there. You allow the options. You've uh, allowed it through the firewall. Now what you need to do is that now, on your uh, smartphone device, based on what you're using, just go there. In my case, I'm using Samsung one, or doesn't matter what phone, just Android. Just open the application and through there, just go to VLC remote, and that's the first one. As you can see, I already installed it and ready set up. I will show you guys how you guys can do that okay here is as you can see I already set it up what you guys need to do is that click add computer uh, and to get IP for your computer what you guys need to do is that go to uh, command prompt uh, the CMD uh, on your computer and type IP IP config I put all this information in the video description and that will be easy for you guys to follow so once you've done that and that will give you the IP address for the computer and then you will need to enter it into the app, the VLC remote app. And that usually start with 192.168.1. something. That something is every computer will have a different IP address and you will need to put that. And on the VLC password, and that's uh, earlier that uh, you've chosen a different password for that, 
you guys need to put into that and you would need to find the computer name you guys can usually uh, either go uh, if you guys can go on the uh, on the CMD and that usually tells you what user you are or uh, what you guys can do is uh, go on the CMD run it administrator and then put net user and that will tell you what's the user on the computer and you can tell which one is your computer and you guys can put the name there and then once you've done that you can do that and then leave the the port number as that and now since I already got my setup just click it and as you can see it says successfully connected and that's only because at the same time I got the VLC open on the computer if you just close down the VLC here and I get the deny so you have to open the VLC and then reconnect and I get connected so now let's just test it see if you can remotely play uh, any videos on my computer through the phone so uh, here as you can see these are the different um, different drive letters because they are different partition from a hard drive apart from the C that's just one drive and the rest is different from different parti partitions you guys might have less or you guys might have one or two based on your computer how it's set up so that doesn't really matter now if you need to find out where is your videos or media file has been located you guys need to open it so once you guys make it I'm just going to show you a shorter one here I'm just going to show you a little one here so for example this is a uh, here as you can see I've just keep clicking a different video and that's coming up and basically this is one video I've used my action camera to play so as you can see I've just clicked uh, the, these all of these videos they're not on my phone that's on the computer but I'm using it remotely to access to it far away to play it for example if you got like 32 inch or 15 inch TV and then you just swipe it up and then just that would be easier and then on the software you got like um, import the media all, all the options but you need to go into more details but uh, for them I can do it uh, in a different tutorials so once you've uh, just chosen what videos uh, you want and you opened it and that's just ready to go and that's at the moment for media you can do mu uh, music as well everything that's ready and you can use a playlist save it for later so uh, guys uh, if you find this uh, video interesting or uh, useful for you guys uh, please uh, le leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel and also share my videos around and uh, thank you guys for staying with me until the next uh, tutorial uh, see you later thank you very much